Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to solve this statically indeterminate problem to find out what the reactions are at A and B. And we want to use the knowledge that we have now of uh, beam deflection and slope to be able to solve this type of problem. So when we look at this, this beam is statically indeterminate to the first degree. There's four unknowns and only three equations of equilibrium. So the only reaction that we can solve for right off the bat is AX equals zero. But for the others, we have a y, b y, and m a. So we're left with two equations and still three unknowns. So the way that we want to get around this is we want to draw a free body diagram for the uh, for this if we take a virtual section, and then we want to get the expression for the internal shear force and also the internal bending moment. And then we want to plug that into the same expression that we've been using from the last couple of videos. So this is our basis for elastic curve equation where we have dy, or the second derivative of y is equal to the moment in terms of x over ei. So we just discovered what the moment in terms of x is at this expression here. So if we just rearrange this a little bit. Now what we want to do is the same as the last couple videos, we want to integrate this twice and we want to get an expression for theta and an expression for y. And this is going to form the third equation that we need because right now we have one two equations and we need the third equation to be able to find our three unknowns. So the way that we're going to do this, if you remember, we just find our boundary conditions and in this case um, this this beam will deflect something sort of like this, right? Oh, I got a little off topic, uh, not off topic, off aim there. Something like that. It's going to be fixed here, it's going to be able to rotate here but it won't be moving. So our boundary conditions are at x equals 0, y equals 0, at x equals 0, theta equals 0, and this is because this is a rigid connection, so this 90 degrees here stays 90 degrees even once it is deformed, and then at x equals L, we're going to have y is equal to 0, and again, this is, we're saying that x is here, going out that way, same as what we did in our free body diagram here. So if we take this first boundary condition here, x equals 0, y equals 0, and we plug that into this expression, y will be 0, this term will go to 0 because it's x equals 0, this x will go to 0, this x will go to 0, this will go to 0, and we're going to find that our second uh, integration constant here, c2, is going to have to be equal to 0. Now if we throw in uh, the second boundary condition into this expression. So we'll set all of the x is equal to zero and all of the theta is equal to zero. So we'll have theta, this whole side goes to zero, that term goes to zero, that term goes to zero, that term goes to zero. We're going to find out that also C1 is going to be equal to zero. So there, those are our two boundary conditions. Super important. Uh, they're not, not our boundary conditions, sorry. Those are our two integration constants. And we'll be able to just drop them from this expression, right? Because this term will go to zero and that term will go to zero. So if we just grab the rest of the equation, we're going to want to work with this for the rest of this problem. So we'll just come bring it down here and continue on. So we still have one boundary condition that we haven't used yet. So where x is equal to l, y is equal to zero. So let's plug those into this expression. So we'll set all of the y's equal to zero and all of the x's equal to l. And here we have our third equation that we're going to use to solve for our three unknowns. So I'll put a blue box around that and let's bring down these two other equations. You know, I really should have said that's equal to zero, but let's bring these guys down. And now we have three equations and three unknowns. So our unknowns are AY, BY, and MA. So all we have to do is just solve these simultaneously and then we'll be able to figure out what our three unknowns are. And with lots of substitution, we find out that AY is 5 eighths WL, BY is 3 eighths WL. We already knew from the very beginning that AX was equal to zero and MA is going to be equal to 1 eighth WL squared. So those are the reactions, the four unknowns to the original problem here where we were trying to figure out what are the reactions at A and B. Well, we found AX, AY, MA, and BY using our knowledge of slope and deflection equations, and we we're able to solve this statically indeterminate problem that way.